Hello, this is Jungle Jargon. I really have to make a video about geology and the uh, evidence of the flood because there's a lot of really bad information out there. To begin with the history, there's hundreds of accounts of a global flood and they're so strikingly similar in that they have a lot of the same uh, details I mean exact details they talk about the bad people they talk about uh, one family a righteous family they talk about animals or boat first and the animals and even the detail of the birds that were released to see if it was okay to go outside and there's hundreds of them literally hundreds of historical accounts from everywhere around the world it's not that they were copying a, a, a similar story that someone of a flood it's that they were all describing the same catastrophic event that marked the history of mankind now this is significant too in that there is no other history there is no other human history of any kind from before the flood all the civilizations that we have be it Mayan Hindu Chinese Egyptian all the ancient civilizations were built on top of the sediments that were deposited by the flood so they existed after the flood the only thing that existed before the flood as far as civilizations are concerned people were people that were are buried in the sediments deposited by the flood that is history from before the flood okay this is the only history that we have we have no other history we have no other human history now this uh, this video is about geology so let me get to the uh, the geology of the flood and you have to listen and pay close attention especially if you're a geologist now you listen to me and listen to me well because you are going to have to account for the geology that we have on the earth it's the only geology that we have on earth it's a geology of the catastrophic event left over from the flood. You have over a hundred million cubic miles of consecutive layers of sediment that there is no other possible way that it could have come from anywhere other than a, from a global flood that moved these sediments and pushed them and deposited them in layers exactly the way we see them today to give you an idea of what the earth consists of we can go to the Grand Canyon we can look straight down we can look a mile down deep into the earth 
and there are nothing but consecutive layers of sediments stacked one on top of the other. Now these layers, and of course they contain fossils in almost every layer, these layers are not just at the Grand Canyon. They keep on going for hundreds of miles in, in every direction. It is not unique to the Grand Canyon. This is what the Earth looks like in a cross-section everywhere around the world, including Antarctica. Antarctica has dinosaur fossils too. It has the same layers of sediment as any other continent has. And one thing of note, you have people trying to tell you that, that oh, on Antarctica you have these ice cores, they're dated so many, many, who knows how many millions, supposedly millions of years old. There's no such thing as millions of years old in the history of the Earth, as far as our today's geology is no more than the most 500 5100 years old but you have these you have these the same layers of sediment on Antarctica and the ice cores are not millions of years old either because the ice cores occurred after the sediment was deposited on Antarctica. So the ice cores are no older than 5,100 years old either. So you have all this confusion going on and in the ice cores of course you have things like insects, uh, moss, and in other places you have, of course, the, the frozen mammoths with green vegetation in their mouths. And this is all what we would expect from a global flood. It is exactly what we would expect. And there is no other explanation of the Earth's geology. cannot get <clears throat> listen where from where on earth did over a hundred million cubic miles of sediment erode from you're a geology tell me show me the mountain show me the place where over a hundred million cubic miles of sedimentation came from it's just so obvious, it's so obvious there was a global flood. Our Earth's geology consists of sediments deposited by a global flood. There is no other history, we have no other history. It is the only history that we have. It is the only geology that we have. And it's a geology of a global catastrophic event recorded in our own history of a global flood and there is nothing anyone can say or do to disprove it or to get rid of the evidence good luck trying to get rid of over a hundred million cubic miles of layers consecutive layers of sediment okay now you need to start teaching that in school you need to start teaching real geology, real history in school, and stop this nonsense. Stop this nonsense. It's ridiculous.